just uh, leave our throat to the floor, but let's start with uh, Pumamuru, not other things. So I'll throw to the floor, I'm not sure who will be the first one. Start, should we start first? Yeah. Agree, okay. you want to start Pumamuru. So yeah, throw but, uh, just the, a lot of people say maybe this game is over and done with, but you are into the next round. Final scheme. Sorry? Final scheme. <laughs> you love you love food, eh? You still uh, you're hungry, eh? <laughs> no, uh, it didn't come from me. So they say it's an easy game for you already. No. Just your comment on that. Yeah, no, thanks, uh, Shupi, and good uh, afternoon to members of the media. No, Bumamuru, uh, of course, a very difficult side. Uh, they played, uh, since playing us, they've played uh, a game on Sunday, and they drew 1-1. One -one. Uh, we still know that they've got some very good players, in, uh, especially Valentin and Eldinho in the midfield. Uh, Valentin up front, the number 11, very aggressive, fast. Uh, with good possibilities for goals, El Dino with the play and also f with shots from outside the box. Hakizimana uh, was very good as a centre back. They missed Bangala, the number five. Uh, I th I thought when we did analysis was probably one of their best players. But uh, the other left-footed centre back, Mama, was also very good and so a good team with a lot of possibilities. Uh, typical. Uh, team in the Champions League with physicality and speed and, and a good threat on set pieces. So we've got to be ready and uh, and make sure we just we just get the, the job done and see the team in the in the group stages. Coach, any questions from the my friend Lawrence called it uh, the dark arts. Uh, looking at the Pirates Chiefs game, um, the number of fouls, the number of yellow cards, and going into Champions League, I mean, you go further in the competition, you know how tricky it can be. I mean, from experience, you look at what happened at White at uh, the two red cards. Is that a concern for you, man? What would you be doing about it if it is a concern? No, no, not at all. I'm not uh, concerned about it because. Some of the some of the bookings I've I've thought have not been bookings, um, and some of the situations I think, yeah, some some of the situations we've been on the receiving end, some of the situations we have not been on the receiving end, but that's football, you know. So uh, let's let's go with it and let's see how far we can we can go. We 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 do a lot of analysis. We we check the situations. We speak with the players. Even ab about yellow cards, we've done a, an entire presentation on that in some of the situations where we, we've analysed some of the bookings, some of the fouls, and even some of the decisions that didn't go for us. Uh, so, so we try to tidy up our game a little bit more and try to make less mistakes. Uh, we speak a lot about our performances. One-on-one uh, -on -one with the players, sometimes in the group, um, but but yeah, not not concerned because our our main priority is the result, and the result allows us to to continue to get confidence and continue working. So, very proud of the players for for everything they've done at the moment. Thanks, 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 Coming back to the Champions League, I mean, since September taking over, you arguably have mastered the, I don't want to say squad rotation, um, but the importance of that um, playing players differently without um, killing the system of the team, how important is it for the program of the Champions League? Yeah, very important. I think we've got a big squad and we have to use everybody. Um, and everybody was one of my concerns when we reopened and started the new season. And um, I listed a couple of concerns with the players and, and credit to them because a lot of the things that we spoke about, they've really, really worked on. And one of those was, was, 
was the level dropping when we've rotated the team and not just the level dropping in, in relation to results. There were so many of the results, for, like Meritzburg, for an example, we should have won. Stellenbosch, when we rotated, we should have won. Amazulu, when we rotated 2-2, two -two, we should have won. Uh, and uh, but if you look at, at, at also the performances when were, were not as good um, as, as, as the performances when we didn't make rotations. And so one of the most important things that we even started working on from preseason, even uh, in the friendlies that we played, was to, to instill the same type of mentality within the players and uh, as I said even earlier credit to them because because they've done exceptionally well with uh, with that and you see it even in the friendly games um, there was a very very good friendly game three weeks ago against Kukune uh, where we were we, we, we had we had some of the youngsters playing and some of the senior players playing and 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 the performance was very very good very very good. And so that gives us a lot of confidence to, to trust uh, the players, but also the players also give each other trust because, because it's important that they trust each other and they know that they won't fail each other, they'll work hard for each other and, and even in difficult moments they can rely on each other to, 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 to back each other up and support each other. So yeah, it was, a, it was an important consideration, but it, it's, it's something that's also an important part of big clubs. Big clubs, you, you, I mean, uh, yesterday I, I got home, the first thing I, I, I watched was Manchester City to, to see why they lost or how they lost to Newcastle. And I saw the rotations and, and this happens even at the, that, that level. And, 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 the, and every single player has to perform and assist the team to, 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 to get the results. And, and it's not easy. And Manchester City is a good example last night how difficult it is. So you've got to give a lot of credit to, to the players and um, the game of football belongs to them and, and big, big, big compliments to them for working on, on, on making sure that they produce even with the rotations. <laughs> First, uh, my answer is very simple. Um, no, there's no. I, to be honest with you, I, I'd be I'd be lying if I said I did not think the Royal AM would be postponed. I, I, in, in our thoughts, in our discussions, even as a group, we we had the feeling that it would be postponed. But of course, you need to wait until it's um, official and and in writing. So. Nothing changes. It's the, the next game is the most important one, and we'll select the team based on what we see on the opposition. So we've got some work to do tonight uh, on the opposition, and, and we try to put out a team that is, is is capable of winning that game in relation to what that game needs um, on Saturday. The last time we had this question, but uh, what qualities would a reward option? Um, it's, it's, a, it's a good question, uh, and it's, a, it's also tricky because um, I met uh, Coach Hugo, Hugo for the first time in person at Orlando, 
Uh, we had very, very kind words exchanged and we promised each other coffee. So there's quite a lot that we are going to sit and have a good discussion also because there is a majority of Sundowns players in the Bafana national team already. I already also have a feeling that there should be more um, based on the performances of the players and based on the fact that the national team should be about meritocracy and the best players must play for the national team. We, with the river in particular, and even though I must make a disclaimer and say, if, of course it's important to, to accept, understand and respect Hugo Bross's role as the head coach, and that he will always for sure have my support and, 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 and uh, the support of this football club. Um, but interestingly, we were ha actually having this discussion um, in the bus last night with uh, Coach Wendell. And uh, my feelings are that, uh, particularly with Rivaldo, is, is, he's important for the big games. He, the, the, he, he, he's, he's got what you call the big match temperament, which is, which is the ability to, to, to not be scared in, in difficult moments and in pressure situations which if you go to competitions like Afghan and you get into games of consequence and you play quarterfinals, semifinals against Nigeria and Ivory Coast, you need players that have the, the, the personality to perform and, and, and the fearlessness and Riva has that. Uh, but of course the style of play is a little bit different, the role would be a little bit different. I, I'm not so sure whether he would drive into the midfield and, 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 and play in, that, in those type of situations with Bafana. But, but when needed, his versatility, his ability to play on the left and the right of, of the back four in, in, in the centre. River has a left foot that is just as good as the right foot, if not better, and even though he is right footed. He's got football brains. You know, it's a, we have a lot of discussions with River about football and, I, and sometimes I, I'm, I'm boggled by his level of, of maturity, but also the, the things that he picks up and the details that he sees. And um, he's also a player that can play as a six. He's a player that can play as an eight. So a player that, that is able to cover these type of positions, centre back, left, right, uh, six in, in a single pivot, in a double pivot on the left, on the right of the double pivot. Maybe even as an eight in a diamond, you can get these possibilities because of the, the technical abilities. But um, as I said, at the end, for sure, is 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 for him to continue to play the way he's playing, uh, stay injury free. Uh, that's the biggest, biggest, biggest pressure I put on him also, is, 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 is recover, uh, look after your body uh, and make sure that you play games because you see the challenges with, uh, with players that are, that are talented and, and where the level is, is the responsibility for, for playing is not just for yourself. Is, 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 is putting yourself in a space where you give the privilege of making so many people happy by you being available on the pitch. And when you have this approach and this mentality of being selfless and servantship, you have then a greater understanding of how important it is not only to manage your, your talent, but your career. And this is the biggest thing with River is that he's been dealt certain cards by God, by the universe. And now he's got to man manage those cards and he's got to do the best that he can to make sure that his, uh, his career still progresses, his talent still grows and, and, and he fulfills his potential because I still don't think River has fulfilled his potential and that's even crazy to even think about. So, uh, yeah, let's see how far we can go. It's an interesting position for him. He, he does it very, very well for us and he helps us a lot. And uh, I think he would, well, of course, definitely be a very useful tool for Bafana. This team has played 12 games and won 11 and drawn one for this season. And it still seems like it's in second gear, second, third gear. Even last year, the Diamond uh, only clicked after the World Cup break or just before the World Cup break. Um, does, does the ceiling of this, I said to Toto last night that this team is in gear two and it seems like it's an eight speed. 
that's the that's the ceiling of this team this season. That's the scale. Yeah, scale would scale would be a, a very strong word, though. But uh, but I but I would assume that I think I think we all know the players know. I know the technical staff know. I think our feelings are that we can we can definitely get better, and we know that we can play better. We can we can be a little bit better in certain moments, both on and off the pitch. There's a, uh, there's a lot of things we even speak about in relation to the culture, in relation to body language and, and small th elements that are, uh, I mean, like goal celebrations, for an example, where a lot of people don't even pay attention to those type of things. But we speak about those things. And uh, these are the small things that are uh, the details that we focus on, for sure. And we do that because we, we know we can get better. Um, but 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 getting better with with an expectation and getting better practically are two completely different things. And uh, I always say, even to the players, if there is one creation that God made, that that no nobody can answer, including science. I mean, you know how how tall uh, an oak tree will grow. And once it grows, that is, is that's that's its maximum. You know how big a whale can grow, and some some don't fulfill the full potential, but there are many that f grow to that and the size, and that's the maximum. You you know how a lily a lily flower or a whatever. You, there's a lot of creations that have maximum ceilings and limits, except human beings. The one creation God created that can go enormously beyond and above expectations and should never be kept is, is, is the human potential. And uh, so I'm not, I'm not sure if it scares me, but um, it, actually, it actually excites me because the challenge is how, 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 how better can we become? How, how many more games can we win? Uh, how, 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 how much better can we play? And, and how many more ideas can we infuse into this team? That's, that's what excites me. Um, so, so yeah, I, I don't know if scared is the right word, but, but more an element of excitement because also before being a football coach, I'm a football fan and I love watching football. And, and, and this group, happens to be a team or a group that I just love watching them play. And uh, for as long as we, we stay focused on those and we stay focused on the processes and we f stay focused on the small details, I'm sure we can, we can even surprise ourselves with uh, the capacity that we can, we can reach as a, as, a, as a team and as a group. And, and for as long as there's still that opportunity and there's that chance, we have to keep striving for that. It's like... Um, Someone said to me last night, uh, it's like uh, perfection. Perfection is that carrot that is dangled in front of you. You can't eat it, but you still chase it. And that's what we, we're trying to do. We're trying to chase perfection. The, the carrot is dangled in front of us, but, but we know very well that even if we, we, we can get a little bit close to it, the realities are that we, we can't even eat it. And, and that, for me, is uh, what I think excites us and motivates us to, to come to work every single day and see how, how better can we become. And, and once we've re reached the better, how better can we become of the better? And then get better and keep getting better and better and better and better. And that's, and that's what we strive to do every single day here. Yeah. This team having had such a strong start, uh, even when you know uh, yesterday after going down, they didn't look like you know, losing that game. You always felt that like, you know they can come back. Would you bet this team to sort of like I don't know attain the invincible and, and go?
or the whole season without a loss. I mean, nearly did it two seasons ago. The Kaiser Chiefs game also, you know, it was on the only play. Would you, would you beg this team to rewrite its own history and attain uh, invincible status? Um, would I beg this team one one hundred and fifty percent? Otherwise, I, I shouldn't be coaching them. They have my undivided, unreserved confidence, and um, it's not a question of backing. It's a question of understanding of how difficult that 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 that. That the dream is. It's not a. It's not a goal. It's not an obsession. It's a dream. It's something that we work. We work for every single day to win every single match. That's the responsibility we have at this football club. And 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 the support and the backing. The group knows that I've got, or they've got from me, one hundred and fifty percent. But it's also to accept how difficult that is. And understanding that, as I've said it before, that even the the team that attempted to do an operation fight Alice didn't even win the league, and that was and that has always been and will always be the most important trophy in any domestic competition. And sometimes, because we've won it so many times uh, with with Sundowns, uh, the the feeling of winning the league championship sometimes is is diluted and is not as strong as it should be. Because there is no other competition where you have to play every opponent twice. You have to play home, you have to play away, you have to play 30 games and you have to maintain consistency over maybe seven, eight months. And that's very, very difficult. And therefore, if you go to the English Premier League, if you ask Man City today, Man United today, Chelsea today, Liverpool today, which title would you put as the number one target, they will tell you the English Premier League. For sure, no, no doubt. You go to France, PSG, ask them which, which of the trophies that you are competing in is your number one priority. They will tell you that it's uh, the Liga. Ah, you go to the Bundesliga, you go to Bayern, you go to Dortmund and you ask them which one is the priority, Champions League or the Bundesliga. They will tell you is to win the Bundesliga. And, and, and that's the same with, with us here. And so we should never, ever, ever take it for granted that we, we have a God-given right to win everything and, and a God-given right to, to, to win every match and to win every championship. Is, is there. To do that is very, very difficult. And, f and, and as you rightfully said, f for the mere fact that it's never been done before speaks to how difficult it is. And that's, but we, we still attempt uh, it's it's that uh, that that ideology of perfection uh, once again is is something that you know you can chase, but chasing it does not necessarily mean you can reach it, but you still chase it, and that is what we try to do. We try to chase winning every single match. Can we win every single match? Of course not. Not in, in competitive sports. You've got to lose some, you've got to win some. And in fact, you grow more when you lose. Um, and, and, and you go to any of the greatest in the world in different sporting codes. They've lost more than they've won. The best in the world. Yest, yesterday, Pep Guardiola lost, Man, Man City lost. Uh, they've, they've lost the Champions League how many times? Uh, for the first time in, in eight attempts, you won the Champions League with Man City. It's very, very difficult. So, so in, in, in competitive sport, you've got to be prepared to win, lose, or draw. But that doesn't mean you go and you go every day saying, oh, but uh, let me prepare to lose. It's, there's no chance. We, we prepare every single match to win. We want to win every match. But we accept that there will be times where we are not going to win every single match. And when there are games that we are not going to win and there are trophies that we are not going to win. But, but we will definitely give it our very, very best to win every single thing. That's one thing for sure. 150%. We will give it 150% effort and commitment and conviction and everything that we have to try to win every single match.